Hi, it's Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at some different data displays. So one of them is a good old tally chart. So this is when we're being able to summarize categorical data. So you can see there on the little table, summarizing the different kinds of pets and how many people had each type of pets. A frequency table, so we can take our tally chart and turn that into frequencies. So essentially that's all we're doing. A pictogram, so that's being able to find a graphical representation um, of data and you always need to have some kind of key or legend. We've got stem and leaf graphs so you'll notice that there is the stem on the left hand side and then the leaves on the right hand side. So if I was to take the number 14.2 that equals 14.2 seconds. So a bar graph, a bar graph has to have a categorical data or discrete data because the bars are not allowed to touch so we've got to have some gaps between them so if I'm counting the number of pencils it's got to be a whole number I can't have one and a half pencils it's either one or it's two that's why we have the gaps between we've got histograms so histograms is when we've got continuous data so that's when we're doing some kind of measuring so I might look at weights of pencil cases between 0 and 40 grams, between 40 grams and 80 grams, between 80 grams and 120 grams. So I'm dividing them up into ranges and we're just looking at how many of them fall within each of the range. Then we have dot plots. So this is dealing with numeric data, so continuous or discrete, and it's plotting every single data point on the graph. So a box plot. A box plot is a summary. So it takes your dot plot and it summarizes that and says lots of the data is in the middle where the box is and the data goes as far as these end whiskers go. So it's a way of summarizing it. We've got a scatter graph. So a scatter graph, we have our explanatory variable on the horizontal axis and our response variable on the um, vertical axis and it draws coordinate points. So if I had your height and your hand span, then I would plot both of those as a single coordinate point. So they have to be both numeric to be able to draw a scatter graph. And we have time series graphs. So obviously we need to have time on the horizontal axis, and then we need some kind of numeric variable that we've collected over time. Thanks for watching.